Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, New Zealand is not at all well served by its opposition. What a woeful lot of wallies they turned out to be. They flounder, they snap, they carp, and they f work their way around the sidelines, but they don't deal with anything important. We focus, as a government, on what really matters, which is the economy, which is families, which is housing, and which is jobs. We're a government that's getting on with the job, and I'll give you some examples. We just need to look at the environment and conservation. The exclusive ex economic zone is a particularly fine example. This was a piece of legislation that has been passed. Unfortunately, of course, for nine long years, the Labour government, propped up by their buddies the Greens, did absolutely nothing while 46 wells were drilled with absolutely no legislation, absolutely no protection for the environment, whatsoever. Then what did they do? They compounded the problem. Because when we put through the Exclusive Economic Zone and Continental Shelf Environmental Effects Bill, which was a piece of legislation designed to fill that gap, they blocked it. They tried to stop it. They argued against it. So they have absolutely no moral high ground whatsoever around this. And I'm very, very proud that we put that legislation through, despite their pathetic opposition. The Minister of the, for the Environment, Amy Adams, said earlier that the quality of debate in this House has gone downhill in the time that she's been here. And listening to the quality of the debate from the opposing benches today, I can see why she says that. But why is that? Are they deliberately misinformed and malevolent? Are they just politicking? Or are they woefully ignorant? I'm tending to think with the RMA reforms that they are absolutely woefully ignorant. We have created a system with the RMA reforms which create more certainty, they're less costly, they enable growth and they protect core environmental standards. It's fantastic. The RMA is A-OK. -okay. That's what we think. They say not at all. They are obviously not well informed. In April, Statistics New Zealand's Business Operational Survey cited that the RMA led to uncertainty, which in the past two years alone, I'm reading from statistics, you would do well, member, to actually inform yourself and read a bit more, because you speak constantly from a position of ignorance. For two years, the cancellation of projects has occurred, worth potentially $800 million. And the uncertainty that led to the cancellation of about two-thirds of these projects, what was that put down to? The RMA and its costly, cumbersome reforms they, that do not work. The way that the system works currently needed to be changed. Uh, a dangerous brick chimney, one of my favourite examples, uh, an $800 demolition job basically required in terms of its resource consents more than $3,000 worth of costings. This is the kind of stuff that actually has to stop. Some businesses would would you believe have spent up to 25%, a quarter of their total expenditures, on just applying for the resource consents? The most damning of all, I suppose, in the business survey is that only 3% of businesses that were surveyed said that the current RMA enhanced their business. It does not. It doesn't work. Our record is a proud one. When it comes to water, we introduced a national policy statement for freshwater management. We committed $340 million to cleaning up some of our most iconic rivers and lakes. We also introduced a national objectives framework. We have done more to clean up our waters to make good the problems from past generations than Labour ever did. In fact, we spent more than five times the amount that the Labour government spent. So it's simply farcical for the Greens and Labour to assume that we are not doing the right thing in this space. We are, and they should be ashamed of themselves. And they've gone a bit quiet, which is a refreshing change. When we look at waste management, which is something they ought to know a lot about, because they've wasted a lot of time in their mismanagement, this government has invested $43 million on 82 waste minimisation projects across the country in 2000 when it comes to contaminated sites. We spent $5.65 million on cleaning up these contaminated sites. Environmental reporting has much improved under this government and under the able leadership of our Minister for the Environment, Amy Adams. And when it comes to hazardous substances, there was no movement in this area from that failed Labour government and their buddies, the Fruit Loop Greens. When it comes to the compliance of hazardous substances, we have done excellent work in this space. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Catherine Delahunty. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.